When it comes to surski paddling, Durban is definitely the home of the sport worldwide. We have the best paddlers in the world that come from Durban. The competition at a Varsity College Marine Surski Series has seen some of the best paddlers in the world take part. And uh, what better place to be than to paddle in Durban and summer on the Durban beachfront. The reason why surski paddling in Durban is so popular is our awesome ocean conditions. We have a very, very warm ocean current that run, runs past Durban which makes the climate amazing for paddling year round. Great environment for families and uh, it's really cool to see so many people using the beach and using uh, the Surski series as a way to, to get involved in surf and water activities on the Durban beach runs. The series consists of 10 races through the Durban summer, all on Friday evenings. Great for novices with an easy launch, and yet we get some of the best paddlers in the world coming to do the series. The series culminates in race 10, also being the Varsity College SA Schools race. We try and get as many young people into the sport as possible, and yeah, we're ready to go for race one tonight. We've got some flat conditions, which is awesome uh, way to start the series, and we're looking forward to a cracker event.
Awesome out there, fantastic conditions. Um, Muscle was tight racing, uh, flat, so we always knew it was going to be a, a tight finish, but uh, I managed to, to get the jump on the guys just before the last turn and uh, yeah, I took the win. So, first uh, first race, uh, first, ski, first ski race of the year, and um, managed to take the win, so I'm very happy. Waited a whole year to get back down to the series, and hey, it's finally come around again. It's the best thing to do on a Friday. Beautiful. After an amazing start to the Vasta College Marine Sur Ski Series last week at race one, uh, where we had over 350 paddlers, we now at race two. Uh, the conditions have been amazing. Uh, last week we had nice flat conditions and we've got the same today, uh, but racing is going to be extremely tight as we saw last week with uh, four boats crossing the line very close to each other. Uh, we're expecting some of the, something very similar to that today uh, with very similar conditions. Yeah, fantastic uh, race three at the Varsity College uh, Marine Series. Um, four boats dicing it out for almost two laps. And um, yeah, pretty much uh, the conditions came out to a tactical race. Couldn't really get away on the downwind leg. There wasn't really enough swell and there was quite a lot of wind that first lap with rain and all kinds of stuff. But uh, yeah, Grant was really pushing the pace and um, coming to the finish, I managed to pull the last K. 
and I had uh, Matthew Byman on my right and uh, Grant on my left and uh, cool, what can I say, the pace was hot and I just managed to act, uh, do the guys uh, for, for my second win of the series so can't complain, fantastic uh, Friday afternoon and ready for the weekend. Um, quite an interesting race, nice rain on the way there, huge swells, a little bit of a downwind. Um, coming back into the wind, but then the wind died down really nicely and a very good race. Boston College is proud to be involved in the fourth year of sponsoring the, the Marine Series and, and as each year comes it's just so great to see the, the take from all the participants as it grows, the numbers grow. It's so great that the family environment as well as the participants, we've had awesome weather this year and I think that's really helped with the spectators and the participants. Well, Varsity College's sports ethos is really to support those um, series that we as, as Varsity College support as a sport. Surf ski as a sport is really important to Varsity College. We really enjoy it. The students love being outdoors and love the healthy lifestyle. And surf skiing as a sport is growing you know, across all our um, regions and that works with our campuses. And it's really great to see sports life at Varsity College grow with that. This is the first year that we actually got engaged with the student activations and a student race, which is a fun series about being the fun. We did two races and it was just really nice for the students who don't know about surf skiing to get down, come activate, have some fun and then come and watch the series afterwards. Getting involved with this lovely lifestyle sport, uh, Varsity College is really just proud to be involved in it. People are anxious to get back into the salt water and uh, the warm Indian Ocean for uh, race seven, the Dion Wide Surf Ski Challenge. Uh, we've had an awesome afternoon here on the beach. Some of the Varsity College students have come down and had a little kayaking race and uh, linking our sponsorship with uh, Varsity College to some of the events and uh, introducing a whole lot of new people to the sport of surf ski paddling. Through the first six races, we've had very flat southwesterly wind uh, conditions, which means very tactical racing. Uh, we've got a couple more bumps on the water tonight with a little bit of an onshore breeze. Uh, which is going to make the race a lot more technical and a lot more skill comes into it. Uh, with three guys uh, seriously in contention for a series uh, result, uh, we've got Grant van der Waals on two wins, Matt Bowman on two wins, and uh, Hank McGregor on also two wins. Uh, so the series is wide open. These points in the next four races are going to be vital to who takes the series title. Somebody's saying Matthew's fallen out, so I looked back and he wasn't there. So I stopped paddling and waited for him to catch up. He thanked me for waiting and then there was a race on. I think he's being nice at the moment, so he decided he didn't want to win like that and uh, actually stopped, uh, stopped the waiting for me, so we regrouped and had a little dash on the way back. Took the win, so uh, three wins down and looking good for the series. We've got uh, two more races to count and we'll see what happens.
specific great performances by a couple of the juniors within the Varsity College Marine Seski Series this year. The kids have got involved through their schools and our school's coaching program and have uh, developed their paddling skills over the last couple of years. The awesome performances from Jean Prato of Glenwood High School and Colvin McCarr of Clifton High School have stood out in this year's series. Colvin McCarr is my biggest competition here in KZN. We're always racing it out, trying to see who's on top. We have this rivalry every Friday night to see who comes down and he's going to come down and win it. Sometimes he wins, sometimes I win. This year it looks like I've been doing more winning, training a little bit harder. Hopefully he doesn't try to pick up his training and get faster than me now. Yeah, well it's been good this year because it's my last year under 18. Um, I'd have liked to have won the title but Gene's been on very good form this year. Paddling for me is a great sport. It's a way to get away from people, a way to relax, see the wildlife. It's amazing out there. I did come in down here every Friday night to uh, race the Marine Series. There was a huge number of, of kids taking part. It's really grown since uh, the last two years I've competed. Every race is different. You, don't, you never get the same race. So it's always great to try to push yourself in all the different conditions, try to get to the top. I believe paddling can take you places. I mean, it takes you around the world. Yeah, and I, I want to try to get there one day and be up there racing with uh, Hank McGregor and Grant van der Bolt and you know, the likes of those guys. After nine races of very calm conditions at the Varsity College Marine Surski Series, we arrived at the beach at race 10 with some hectic onshore northeasterly surf and wind. Uh, this is going to be a huge challenge for the kids taking part in the Varsity College SA Schools Champs this evening and uh, good luck to all of them, it's going to be an amazing race. Well, the series has grown, the school's paddling quite a bit for the Serski bringing out the Surski SA school champs for Surski. Most of the schools come to the party to come join in, see where they place, see where the school is placed overall. And it's great fun. I'm quite excited about the conditions today. It seems pretty windy and the swells going into the bay. I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, it's actually looking a lot like fish up today where I've been training a lot recently, which is actually quite to our advantage. So it's definitely going to be a tough race today. I've been at every race uh, this season, so it should all count up to today's race. This will be quite a fun race today. Well, I think the starts can be quite important because the waves are quite big. But I think it will be quite tight. Catching runs back, we might, one of us, pull ahead. But I think into the wind it's going to be quite difficult riding on the tail and trying to stick close to each other. I heard the whistle go, like a panic to try to get out to the boy first with Kenny still on my left and then Colvin popping up on my right. The start was quite hard, the surf was quite big so it was quite hard getting out but we got out quite cleanly and going up to the first can was really hard because it was into the wind and I was quite side on. I saw these big waves rolling in and I was quite nervous about getting out because I felt that the boat was quite unstable but I was looking forward to it. I was behind Amy from the first turn and then I managed to put my head down and just catch onto her tail. I couldn't see her anyway and I started getting harder and harder and I see her nose coming up next to me and I was like, oh, here we go. Well, my plan was to um, try and pull away from her right from the beginning. Um, so I just put my head down and I went from there. She came past me, I tried to hang on with her tail but she's pretty strong so she dropped me. And we turned the can, Kenny was first and then Jean was second and I was third and then it was quite hard going to that can because it was also uh, into the wind. I thought, that, okay, I'll stick with the guys, see what they like on the way down to the bottom turn. And I went, I was just paddling and I looked around and no one was there. And then I looked to my left and 
Eugene was gone, we had gone like further inside and he disappeared and I didn't see him again for the rest of the race. I think into the wind, it's, you go try to be a bit stronger than the rest of the guys, just push it a bit harder because you can't, as soon as you back down into the wind, your boat speed drops and that's it. So you have to try to keep the pace up. The wind was straight on, then it was the headwind going to the turning can up there. Um, when we turned that can, it was complete downwind coming back. It was, quite, it was quite onshore, so we had to sort of work it in and then work it out and work it in and work it out. And then when we turned downwind, I was just focusing on trying to catch and not get over too many of the runs because the runs that you try to get over would just slow you down by sinking into them. Well, we turned the boy up for lap two. I knew Calvin was just behind me. I knew Kenny was too far ahead. I wouldn't be able to catch him into the wind. It looked like it was a strong point in today. I just wanted to stay ahead so that I could maybe have a better time overall. I didn't want to let them have that slight in case I did have a slip up somewhere along the line. I wanted to have some backup. I thought I'd just go for it, get to the front and hang with the guys and see what everyone's like, what they're how well everyone's going and then take it from there and just see what happened on the course itself. I didn't really have too much of a game plan. But yeah, this is good to finally win it properly. Turn the boy, the third boy. Calvin was still close behind, couldn't seem to shake him. I knew if I made any mistakes, Calvin would be right there, so I tried my best. Quite amazing to come to crown second in SF for the schools.